This is Cool Japan, and in this video, we're going to take a look at something really awesome. These are 112 scale PlayStation 4 mini gachas. So let's just open it up and take a look. Alright, so first up, we have uh, this. What is this? It's just a rectangle. Anyway, let's move on. We've got a dual shot controller. Check that out. And it has the little the little buttons right there. It's got a painted um, signal receiver thing. Can't really see the shoulder buttons. But yeah, that is a nice looking mini controller. And next up, we've got another one. So, the, so it's just a pair of black controllers. They both look really nice for being so tiny. All right, next up we have the PlayStation Pro stand and the actual PlayStation Pro. Let's look at that real quick. Look at that, you can see all the ports. Pretty cool. You can see where you put in the disc and startup buttons. And on the front, it's got the PlayStation logo. And on the bottom also, that's pretty cool. It is a very simple thing, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, I can't pick it. All right, so let's see what it looks like with the stand. Pretty sure it goes this way. And there we have it with the stand. It is a pretty tight fit. I kind of pushed it in and I heard a crack. So, might be I pushed it in a little bit too hard, but it is on there pretty firm, so that's pretty good. Anyway, let's take a look at the red capsule. See what's in here. Ooh, we've got a VR in the PlayStation Move controller is awesome. Alright, so first up it looks like we've got that same rectangular piece of plastic, which I doesn't seem to have any use. We've got the camera, let's take a close look at that. Pretty simple looking thing, but the actual thing also looks pretty simple, so that is, whoops, that is fine. Pretty cool, cool little thing. Doesn't want to stand up. Uh, it might need some tape or some tack or something. Anyway, let's take a look at the controllers. They look like standard controllers. They've got the blue paint on it, which is nice. And um, yeah, not much to say there. Next up, let's take a look at the VR. This is going to be awesome. Here is the VR. It's made out of a soft rubber, so it, it'll help you stick it on some figure heads, which is nice. The actual VR looks pretty cool. You can see the lenses right there. The front is nicely painted. Oh, I've got some scuff up marks. Well, anyway, that looks pretty awesome. Hopefully it'll fit on a figure. All right, next up, let's take a look at the white capsule. This one has the regular PlayStation 4, some white controllers and another, and another mysterious plastic piece. If anyone has any idea what this is, I would really love to know because it's just so weird. I guess um, maybe this is the plastic where they put on the serial number and where it's made. Because actually, it doesn't say that anywhere else on the 
pieces. So I guess legally they, they have to show where it's made and some kind of information about it. This is probably where they put it and it's not on the actual thing. All right, so that kind of makes sense. Let's take a look at the white controllers. These look better than the, the black ones, I think. Check that out, that looks nice. The buttons look, uh, they kind of missed the spot here, but looks all right. I like how the bottoms are a little bit gray and the back of it is gray, gray as well. That's pretty cool. These have a little bit more detail than the black ones then. Pretty awesome. So we've got a bunch of controllers. Next up, let's take a look at the PlayStation 4. We've got the PlayStation logo. You can see all the ports. Looks pretty awesome. And compared to the black one, it is a little bit smaller and thinner. Awesome. And last up, let's take a look at the blue capsule. I think I know what is in here. There's supposed to be two VRs, so yep. There is the other VR and the uh, controllers and stuff. All right, so this VR looks identical, I think. Minus the scuff. Yeah, pretty cool. I like how right here it's like all rubber, so when you put it on the figure, you can kind of position it to make it fit on their eyes. Pretty cool. So we've got the two VRs. We've got a blue controller. Which is also nicely detailed. All right, and last is the second camera. Pretty cool. Oh, and that one stands, nice. And, you know, actually, I think these two are a little bit different. The, um, the sizes are different. So one is bigger than the other one. So if um, this one is too big for your uh, uh, for your figure, you can use the smaller one and vice versa. The actual VR is a little bit smaller as well. So you got two options. That's pretty cool. And uh, so let's look at the hole. We have two VRs, one bigger than the other. We've got the PlayStation Pro, the white PlayStation, two black controllers, two white controllers, blue controller, two cameras or motion detectors. We've got the PlayStation Move batons and four of these made in China blocks. <clears throat> so the main thing that I want to see is if these will fit on figures. So we're going to check that out right now. All right. So here I've got a mix of figures from Figure Arts, Revoltic, and even Jazzwares. We're going to see how this fits. So first up, let's take a look at the Jazzwares wild card. And he's got a pretty small head, so I'm going to try the smaller, smaller VR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's way too big for this guy. He's got a tiny head. Well, I guess, eh, I guess you could kind of fudge it, but yeah, that's too big. The other one is way too big. So yeah, it's not going to work with your Jazzwares figures. Which is unfortunate. Next, next um, let's take a look at Spider-Man. I'm, I'm hoping that it will work with this figure. Because I really, I would really enjoy that. Let's try the smaller one and... Mm, is that the smaller one? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I guess that does kind of work. Kind of. What do you guys think? Yeah. And let me just see if the the move fits in his hands. I did kind of mod 
my Spider-Man, I did get a knife and cut his fingers right there just so he can hold cooler stuff. And yeah, it fits perfectly in his hand. Awesome. All right, next let's take a look at the uh, figure arts Ryu figure or Ryu figure, maybe the bigger one does fit nicely on his head. That looks pretty good. That looks really good, actually. Let's try the smaller one. Smaller one, actually, it fits nicer. Nah, actually, the bigger one is better. But yeah, it fits on him. If you want to use this on figures, I would recommend that you use figures without a lot of hair, like Nappa right here. Um, let me see, he's got a huge head, so maybe the bigger one will fit perfectly. Look at that. It fits on his head really nicely. Nice. You just want to be careful when you use it because you don't want to scuff up the uh, clear paint or you know, if there's a matte finish on it, you might scratch that up. Let's try Frieza, the smaller one on Frieza. Gold Frieza. Does. Yeah, I'm just trying to be really careful because I don't want to scratch it. But yeah. It works. Awesome. Next, I'm going to try Boma, which I don't think it will work. Even the big one, it's, yeah. Uh, that's the best I'm gonna get. <laughs> and just for fun, let's try Goku. Um, yeah, it's not gonna work. His hair is just way too big. Even if you take off the front part of his hair, that's not gonna fit. But anyway, it does fit with lots of figures, and um, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more cool Japanese stuff.